hi welcome back to the yet another video so in this video we are going to learn how we can configure the Hyper-V in Azure VM so this can be done by uh, nested virtualization so nested, nested virtualization enabled machine can allow you to do this so Hyper-V expose the hardware virtualization extension to its virtual machine with the nested uh, enabled and a virtual machine can be install its own hyper version uh, hyper v we can say and run its own guest machine so in this scenario uh, the level 2 is known as uh, the level 2 uh, will be our, our virtual machine on on azure and the level 1 is the machine which is running on azure so without wasting any time let's uh, jump into the uh, practical part and before we jump into the practical part i just wanted to highlight one more thing that uh, while selecting the uh, azure vm size the vm size should be more than uh, d series that uh, allow that will allow you to uh, install the hyper v and uh, you can install the uh, uh, guest os on it so let's try to do it so you can see that I have installed a virtual machine called as Hyper-V VM on Azure and if you see the size, the size is standard D series and uh, it has uh, around 8 core of CPU and 32 gig, gig of RAM. So let me connect to this machine. I have done the RDP to it. So this is the machine so to install the Hyper-V what we need to do is we need to run uh, appwitch.cpl on run command to open the add remove in program so we'll click on uh, manage add remove in features click next uh, we are going to install this feature on this machine so I will select the first one then click next and from the server role I am going to select Hyper-V add feature mm. okay and next next switch uh, I am going to use both the switch and allow virtual machine to no, no I don't require it for now no and install this is going to take around one to two minutes and post that it will ask you for a reboot once we reboot the machine we will be able to see the hyper-v option hyper-v option will be available on the start menu and from there we will be able to configure the hyper-v I mean we will be able to So the installation is completed. I just need to uh, reboot the machine uh, to make it work. So what I will do, I am going to restart this machine. And okay, the machine is going to be restart soon. So let's check. Uh, let's connect to boot diagnostic and let's see oh you can see it's rebooting it's in a rebooting state uh, let's refresh It's preparing the console connections to the Hyper-V. Let's see now. Okay, it's... Now we are able to... Now the machine is ready to connect. 
let's go back and let me catch up the IP address it should be there I guess I will connect to it okay it's 92.3 yeah I'm able to connect now I will click on start and look for Hyper-V so it's there let's try to create a machine okay new machine let's give a name called test VM next I would like to use this as a gen 1 assigned memory 80424 that is somewhere around 8 GB and I would like to connect it to this switch so one I have already downloaded the media so it's there on the desktop I will select it click next and finish let's connect to the machine start it's running let's connect to it so now it started building so what did it do now uh, because we have downloaded the image and we have imported it while creating the hyper new Hyper-V so it will install the uh, new OS on this Hyper-V that gonna be the latest OS of 2022 uh, server 2022 the OS let's do the formality close I mean start so it's going to install the operating system uh, we'll select the first one next I will accept the license next custom new apply ok next so this is going to be taking around somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes to complete it and post that we will see uh, the we will try to log into the Hyper-V VM test, test machine
So look like uh, the installation of OS on Hyper-V is completed. It's going to take another one minute. So and yeah, it's complete. So I'm going to have putting the password. And the password is change and it's going to log in into the server so this is how you can install the uh, Hyper-V on an Azure machine it's very simple and uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you like please like and subscribe thank you so much